Hey guys, gonna do another real quick velocity test with a 22 long rifle, and this time we're gonna try the CCI Stinger. So I just did a velocity test with the Aguila Super Maximum 22s, and those were smoking hot. So let's see what the CCI Stinger will come in at and compare it to the Super Maximum. These are a 32 grain bullet, while the Super Maximum is only a 30 grain. And of course, we'll test these through a 5 inch barrel revolver and the 18 inch barrel 1022. And we're going to start with the 5 inch barrel revolver with the muzzle only about 2 feet from the Caldwell Ballistic Precision Chronograph. 1256. 1149. 1189. 1168. And 1082. And now the Ruger 1022. 1627. 1581. 1588. 1622. And 1646. So overall those were a little bit slower than the Aguila Super Maximums. But that's still a smoking hot 22 round, 1600 feet per second. But let's try and see just how effective one of these super hot CCI Stinger rounds are by shooting a soda can. Okay, CCI Stinger, 1600 feet per second, 22 long rifle. Let's see what it'll do to that soda can. Oh, dang. Seemed to be pretty effective. And here's what's left of the can from that CCI Stinger. Completely obliterated it. Pretty similar to the Super Maximum. Not exactly sure which one did more. I'd have to review both of the footages and see the results and then make my decision. But both of them were just completely devastating to a soda can. Alright guys, that's all for this real quick CCI Stinger velocity test. If there's anything specific you guys want to see done with these CCI stingers, just make sure to let me know. And until next time, thanks for watching.